of things that himself do it. Are you with me? And he will show him greater works than these that ye may marvel. See? That's why. I, that's whatever you see the most high do. What about whatever the most high say? Um. Go to uh St. John 14. St. John 14 and 8. Philip said unto him, Mashiach, show us the Father. And it suffices us, it'll satisfy us. Masha was said unto him, Have I been so long time with you? And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how says thou then, show me, show, show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else do believe me for the very works sake. You see? So, he's letting us know that what he see the Most High do, that's what he did. That's what he's doing. What he hear the Most High say, as the word of the Most High, that's what he's saying. But, Right over here because go to St. John the 10th chapter, verse 27. To my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, he said. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Ain't no man gonna pluck them out of his hand. When you really know, like 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 the devil said, he's coming down against who? In Revelation 12 and 17, those that keep the commandments of the Most High and had a testimony of a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, his sheep. My sheep hear my voice, he said. And I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, See, the Most High ain't giving everybody the true testimony of a Mashiach. But the Most High is going to give those that he choose the true testimony of a Mashiach. That's why I say, my father, who is the Most High, power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jacob being the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel, which gave them me, is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. Hear what he said? Now, some of you might believe this or might not believe it. That's why he said in verse 26. But ye believe not. Because ye are not of my sheep. As I said unto you. Speaking to who? The Israelites. And some of you believe not. Because you're not of his sheep. And the most I not dealing with you. That's why he said in verse 30, I and my father are one. They agree. See, I and my father are one. Just like a lot of y'all think he's saying that, that they're, the, they, they're the same. They're not the same. He said in verse 29, he said, My father which gave them me is greater than all. He just said that. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. My father's hand, not his own hand. He's given the acknowledgement to the most high. You say, I am my father or what? I mean, they agree. A lot of people get that wrong. They're one in agreement. That's why you just, I mean, unless you just have not heard what was just said. He just said, what I see the father do, that's what I do. That's not himself doing what he doing himself, no. 
He said, when I see the Father do, that's what I do. What I hear the Father say, that's what I say. He's the word of the Most High. The Most High have a voice. And from voice comes what? Words. So, the Most High have a voice. And the word of the Most High is the Mashiach Yahweh Shai. That's why you got Holy Spirit. Holy Angel. What did Uriel give Ezra? If I might ask. What did Gabriel give to Zechariah and Elizabeth, John the Baptist's mother and father? Father and mother. Or Gabriel brought a message to Joseph and Mary. Didn't he? From who? From the Most High. Raphael came to Tobit, right? He was sick. Micah Allah fought with the body of Moses against Satan. Archangel of War. I mean, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. See, y'all got it all twisted. Y'all, y'all, y'all got this, this, this religion is like I say, them polluted your mind. Your brains is polluted. Or show me one scripture that defines the Holy Spirit. You religious people out there that believe in your religion, give me one scripture in the Bible you're supposed to believe in that defines the Holy Spirit, what it is. You say, I and my father are one. They mean they agree. Then the Jews took up stones against him again to stone him. That's what these preachers going through? People are coming against them like that? You got to understand. How you represent a Mashiach of a shot and people not, don't really go against what you, what you stand for? That's why they come against us as Hebrew Israelites. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. See, again to stone him. I could go back, go back to uh, uh, it's cold, man. Um, look at, uh, he said again, right? So look at St. John, the uh, eighth chapter. And, um, <laughs> Cold boy. When you think about how um, people think and um, how they um, they try and bring about that's that that's that uh, pride that people want to be somebody. Pharisees, scribes, T5 priests, and all of them, Sadducees, all of them, they were looking to be somebody. They were somebody. They didn't want to lose their power of being somebody. So I look at Israelites now, all you that's really looking at trying to be somebody in hell, you better be careful. You better be careful. I'm talking to you leaders. Y'all better be careful. Because a whole lot of honor coming to you, more so than the most high and the Mashiach Yahweh Shai. And his name is Jealous, straight up. Straight up. You can't play with this. Look what they said. Um, in uh, St. John, let me say he took up stones again to stone him, right? St. John 8 and verse 53. They asked him a question. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead, and the prophets are dead? Who maketh thou thyself? Who do you think you are? My shall was an answer. If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. Uh oh. See, y'all understand. Y'all say y'all believe in a Mashiach that was shy. You got to roll like he rolled. Or you ain't rolling like him. You ain't believe in him. Look. Philip, go to Philippians 2. Uh, verse 5. It say, let this mind be in you. 
which was also in the Mashiach Kyo Shai. This mind he had, who being in the form of the Most High, thought it not a robbery to be equal with the Most High, meaning he's the son of the Most High. Remember, he's the word of the Most High, and what he see the Most High do, that's what he does. What he hear the Most High say, that's what he say. We just went over this. But made himself of no reputation. Uh oh. He make himself of no reputation. That's why you see people that be like, uh, announcing themselves, always trying to get some prestige in hell. He was in hell. He was born in hell too, under the Roman Empire. He was subject to them, subjected to them. That's why they was able to put him to death. The so-called white man put him to death because they had the power. But he was in the Roman Empire, but made himself of no reputation. But y'all Mashiachim, y'all following him, y'all y'all using the example that he he had, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. And was made in the likeness of men. And being in the fashion and being found in the fashion as a man, he humbled himself. Y'all better hear what he's saying. But made himself of no reputation. And being found in the fashion of a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. See? Is that what's going on? That's why he said. Verse 3. Let nothing be done through strife. Or vain glory. Going right back to Jeremiah 16, 19. That's what people are going to be saying. Going back to Ecclesiastes 3.24. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion. And an evil suspicion overthrown their judgment. Make them make the devil, let the devil come in and make the wrong judgment. Let nothing be done to strife or vain glory. But in loneliness of mind, what's that mean? With humility. With humility. Loneliness of mind, humility. Let each esteem other better than themselves. Lift, lift up each other. Sometimes you got to bring people down to bring them up. You got to hear, which is an art of responsibility, listening, you see, that you hear so that you can become a better person. That's what the truth is about, change. Cause you, like you say, so, we're some, we're, we were some of the, we were some of the ones that was of the world. The things that he says, or such were some of you. You see, we come out of the world. We come out of all kind of things, all kind of different. You name it, it's what we, we bringing us out of. You call no holy than holy, holy rollers and all of them. Y'all ain't, ain't being called into this. Why well, y'all still caught up in religions and so forth? Or oh, you should be able to give me an answer. Or which one of your religions keeping the moral laws, the civil laws, the dietary laws, and the ceremonial laws? That shouldn't be a problem. Did you say you love the most high? <laughs> Look, this is how it was. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory. But in loneliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others, what they have. Jump down to verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, not on the Sabbath day. Y'all come together on the Sabbath, now everybody holy than thou. Or whatever holy day we come together, whenever we come together. But now much more in my absence. You know what he's saying? Much more, like I say, what's the word on you when the book is closed? Much more in his absence. What's the word on you when the book is closed? He say, work out your own salvation. How? With fear and trembling. Hear that? Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Fear the most high. And tremble before the most high. That's why it says. For it is the most high which worketh in you. Both is to will and to do of his good pleasure. Hear that? Don't you want the most side of the will 
and do of his good pleasure, of his good instead of the wrath of the most high, the indignation of the most high, the woe of the most high coming upon you. I wish the will of the most high is to bring forth his good pleasure. Do all things without murmurings and disputings. Hear that? Do all things without murmurings and disputings. That means you got to change your mind from the way the world is. The world always have you arguing and, and murmuring against something. And someone that's in your ear, the world, going to have you to think wrong. So then you're dealing with evil. Your vain opinion. To have you think wrong so you, your, your judgment that you make is going to be evil from the devil. You can't go to the, run to the Most High and say, Most High, help me. When you know you dealt with the devil. Oh, Most High didn't know. You did know. We are spiritual people. You know who you listen to. Because usually the devil get into somebody and have them talk to you. Either to have you make the wrong judgment or to be blessed. You know, I've had people tell me things and don't even remember they told me. And I thank them for it. And they didn't even remember telling me anything. Two people at the same time. For my benefit. Most I made a donkey talk, didn't he? He showed, told them, tell me this and tell me that. And they were right. For what they told me, he didn't know. All praise to the Most High. That you may be blameless and harmless. You that blameless and harmless where? And the sons of the Most High. Without rebuke. Without rebuke. Where? In the midst of a crooked and perverse nation. That's where we at, y'all. We're in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation. Among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Amashiach, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. <coughs> so hopefully, you will move in the spirit so that you'll be able to make the right judgments, first and foremost, on your own life. <coughs> That's what this is all about, y'all. <clears throat> That's why go to uh, Romans <clears throat> 12 and 1. See, I'm going to tell you, once you... Um, you learn this, you live it, you apply it in your life, you start applying it in your life. That's the hardest part for people, to apply being in the truth <clears throat> in their life every day. Wake up and uh, have whatever they're going to deal with for the next day in the truth in their mind. And when they wake up, they operate in the truth. That's why it says, uh, Romans 12 and 1, let's read from there. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High. Mercies is not getting something you deserve many times. That you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Mashiach was the ultimate sacrifice. Now we got to present our bodies a living sacrifice. Holy. How you present your body as being holy? What's holy? Go back to, he told us already. Back a few chapters in Romans 7 and 12, he said, Wherefore, the law is holy. Whose laws are they? They're the Most High's laws. The law is holy. So y'all say y'all holy, but you don't keep his laws, such commandments. You don't keep his moral laws, civil laws, dietary laws, ceremonial laws, but you holy. Hmm. The law is holy. And the law of the Spirit don't cancel out the law that the Most High gave us. 
the moral laws, the civil laws, the dietary laws, the ceremonial laws, because the law was our schoolmaster who said to bring us to a Mashiach Yahushua. What law do you think that's talking about? So did they have whatever they had in the New Testament? When the Mashiach Yahushua walked the earth, he had Paul's writings. Peter and, and James and all of them had Paul's writings. When the Mashiach Yahushua walked the earth, Paul's name was Saul. He was putting people to death that call on Baha Shama Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Yes, he was. Well, he was converted. He's a prime example that no matter what you've been through, what you done did, most I can call you and convert you and forgive you for whatever it is. That's why I said, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies, not mercy, but the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Listen, Romans, it said what? Holy, right? What's holy? Romans 7 and 12, Wherefore for the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just and good. That's what he's telling you first. You're not going to get away from it. Ain't no way in the world you're going to try it or bring it forth. You're not going to get away from the works that the Most High did with his finger. In writing these 613 laws, moral laws, civil laws, dietary laws, ceremonial laws, and sacrificial laws. But we now we got to present our bodies a living sacrifice because Master of Shai was the ultimate sacrifice. Now we're telling us we got to present our bodies as a living sacrifice. Holy. We back in Romans 12. Except